Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more Blightfall, it's part 5 today and uh, I am back, I'm not quite sure what progress has been made um, other than what you can see around you here, we've got a nice little farm going of these guys mm. and I've just noticed actually that there is an entire swathe of ground that's just been mined here we are, look at this Got some sheep, cows, got all sorts of stuff going, fantastic. Um, I got a message from Finvara actually asking me to, if I could go ahead and uh, mine up some yellowite. Now yellowite is pretty, pretty rare and we are uh, running very, very low on it. So I'm going to go and try and do some of that. But first and foremost, I am going to complete some quests. So I finally got a breaded pork chop, um, thanks to somebody putting pork in the, uh, in the fridge after me going and, you know, putting the grass down so things can spawn. Let's go ahead and claim that. Nice. Um, now, it says alien metal tech, or clay's pickaxe, and also a Prometheum pickaxe. Now, either of these are both going to be lower than the one that I've got now, because I've gone ahead and put on tartar, uh, ta tartarite, I think that is, um, on top of this one here. So that is, will allow me to go ahead and mine up the yellow right that I'm going to need. Though the other ones are just straight up Arclays pickaxe. So let's have a look, see how much Arclays and Promethean we've got. So not a great deal. Has this been sorted anytime soon? So Promethean, we've got a tiny little bit. We need three ingots of Promethean to be able to do that though. Arclays, well we've got enough to be able to do that. We've just got no Promethean kicking around, which is a shame. Let's put a couple in there and uh, get a couple smelted up if I can. Have these got power? They do indeed. Pulverizer. Induction smelter. So let's put it in the pulverizer. I would presume that this works. Let that do its business. And I'll take the gold and put the gold into there as well. So let's eat this breaded pork chop actually. And let's also eat this baked ham so we can nearly be full of food. I need a couple of sticks. If we've got any sticks kicking around loose, I will grab them. If not, well, it seems that we're going to go outside and grab some sticks. Oh, well, grab some wood so we can get some sticks. There we go. And then we can go ahead and make that pickaxe to get that quest done and completed. There's the Arclays. There's the Arclays pickaxe. So that is done, let's claim the reward, the mission outlook goes up. Not going to use it, I don't think. Mining level hard metal. Nah, not going to use it. The Prometheum, let's go and grab that and get that pickaxe done. It automatically, it doesn't automatically get put into here, so that's, that's decent then. Get the Prometheum ingots done. Be interesting to see, you know, on the map, see if they pushed the blight back somewhat since last time I was here. Let's go and take a look at that in a second. Once I've gone ahead and made this. Now then, good stuff. Everything is now done in there, though. It says 37% completed. Everything is now done. Um, in the supplier, I went ahead and got some of these other tools and stuff like that. Bits and bobs that I needed to find. Um, I've managed to find into there. The geologist still missing that uh, piece of nice cobblestone, so I'll have to see where I can grab that from. Uh, the scout, I haven't been anywhere to find anything just yet. The paranormalist, I haven't even started uh, with Thorncraft or anything. Uh, the colonist, now this is one of the things that uh, I probably do want to get into. Um, the xenobiologist and the engineer might want to get into some of that as well. Black Market is open, Prometheum is there as well. But that is that one done. What I'm going to do now is going to try uh, go out there and start mining around and uh, see if I can find enough for some um, thingamabobbins, some yellowite. Now what I want to do is make myself some stone uh, hammers. M might not do stone, might actually do a metal hammer if I can. And, uh, you know, just to make short work of the terrain that's around so that I can, you know, find my way to some yellow uh, yellorium, hopefully, sooner than later. So we've got enough of what we wanted to do at the moment. The mattock is a little bit clumsy. Probably do want an excavator as well as a, as a shovel as well at some stage. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and make a hammer. Now, in here... Classical tools and weapons. 
modular tools. I think this is the way uh, to look at it. So you've got a load of stuff here. Yeah, they think this might be the way. Harvest level. Oh, yeah. That's, um, not discovered ghost wood just yet. Bloodwood is brilliant. Look at the hotter handle modifier there, 1.84 times. And the harvest level is diamond as well for Bloodwood. The, the durability is low on it, though. That's the only issue with that one. Um, let's have a look see what else we've got. We've got iron. Lead, 1,300 durability, though. It's a hard non-metal um, harvest level, so it really is a low harvest level. Um, what else? We've got mithril. We've got adamantine, which is harvest level 8, which is epic. Uh, 1240. We haven't got much adamantine yet, and I really don't want to go ahead and use a load of adamantine to try and make a hammer. Uh, certainly, I don't think we've even got enough to be able to do that. Super diamond, hard metal, super diamond, epic. I just want something really, because that uh, pickaxe that I've got, I just want something that will just carve through stone like it's not there. Um, and with some real good, decent amount of durability on there as well. And there's a lot of ingots that we really haven't seen yet. So out of all of them, what would be... Well, Sanguinite as well, that's another one. Vulcanite is another one. All have got really good uh, durabilities. It's the durability that I'm after, so I think lead might be the way forward, guys. It's a hard, non-metal. Harvest level 1. <laughs> So I think a soft heavy tech metal, abnormally low mining level and mining speed, abnormally high durability. Hmm, yeah the mining speed is extremely low and that would be really annoying for a hammer. Let me see what I can find guys and I'll be back. Okay guys, um, I've got all of the bits and bobs together that I think I need to go ahead and make a hammer. Now everybody's going to be like, ah, I can't believe you're doing it like that. But you know what? It's okay. It doesn't matter, guys. It's only a game. It will be fine. Basically, that's all I wanted to do. So just something that was um, effective with big amounts of durability. The speed on it is only 2.4, but it'll do. It will do for what I want it to do. So Stone Smasher is what we're going to call it. And that is going to be fantastic. That's going to carve through the earth while this guy is going to be cleaning up after us. And I'm going to go for a big old mining spree. Have we got any backpacks or anything in here? Oh, we do. We have the better storage backpack. So we need some leather for this, although I'm pretty sure that we don't have much in the way of leather. I could be wrong, though. Need quite a lot of leather. I don't see any. I see two pieces of leather there, but it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, I don't know how to make the other two. And I need seven pieces of leather. That's crazy. That is crazy. Have we got any cows locked up out here? We do have some cows locked up out here. Let's go ahead and breed these before killing any. Don't make the same mistake as I've done previously. No wheat in there. Oh, well. let's just go and harvest it instead. There we go. Ooh, six pieces of wheat after that. Nice. It's one hell of a tree. Right. Cow. 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 So now we should, in theory, be able to kill all four of those cows and let the two little ones grow up. Um, gonna use my mattock because I'm barbaric like that. Let's get in here. We've got no leather at all from either of those cows. That is not good. Oh. We got one piece of leather. That is not good enough. Simply just not good enough. From killing four cows, I got one piece of leather. Well, get here, cows, because uh, you're the ones that are going to be next. Oh, what is with this? Oh, so much bad luck. And then that one gives me four. And then that, got, that one gives me two. I really did expect to have more, to be honest, and that's really annoying. Let me go and slap this in the fridge, and uh, we can use it for cooking. There we go. Oh, I can't slap it in the fridge. Fridge isn't big enough. There we go. Oh, I've got some leather in here. 
Okay guys, we've got our seven pieces of leather that we need. We need one wool and one gold ingot. The wool is really not that hard, the gold ingot certainly isn't that hard, looking at all of this, so there we go, one gold ingot and one piece of wool. Now is that going to be outside? I think it, is that wool? No, that's marble. Wool, where are you? It seems they might still be on the sheep. Is there any piece of, there is a piece of wool. Fantastic, let's go and make our bag so that we can go out there and start mining around the place for some stuff. Place down and break while sneaking to equip. Place down and bre break while sneaking, okay? We've got our bag equipped. So sneak and right click on the ground to, with an empty hand to unequip. Well, how do we... Oh, that's how I do it. Okay, I put it I put it down. It acts like a chest. I see. So, let's go ahead and break that. Put it onto his back. And then let's go mining. Okay, I am back above ground, guys. I've gone from one single mining trip. And I found a few bits and bobs. Unfortunately, zero Yellorium. But we do have a lot of black granite. So much black granite. It's absolutely crazy. In fact, more than what we can actually store in our spruce drawers now. So, going to have to keep an eye on that. Uh, what else have we got? Gravel. Uh, put some gravel in there. Uh, egg. Eclogite. Is it Eclogite? Is that the one? Oh, it's here somewhere. There it is. Found it. Any more? Put that wheat back in a second. No, nope, all the rest are um, ores and such. Let's go ahead and put them into this over here because we're going to need that. We're going to need to put, put them inside here. So let's slap them all into this place. Whoops, that's not the right place, is it? Oh dear. This one. There we go. Lead, gold. Just got quite a few bits and bobs there. These things we can't place in here. We've got to place them over at uh, that thing. Nether quartz. Don't know where that goes. Um, Certs quartz. Right, okay, let's see what we've got in our bag. Got quite a few bits and bobs in our bag here, but let's go and grab all of the ores. Don't know why there's some cobblestone in there. Let's put some more in there. More gold, even more gold. Look at all the iron that we've got as well. Absolutely great. Um, now, got some certus quartz ore there. Don't know where to put the rest of this iron ore. Just got to slap it in here. In fact, no. Let me go over. I don't want to use all the power though. I don't want to use all the power, so I won't do that. I'll just put them in the bottom of here and let the guys sort that out when it comes to that. Let me go over to the magic place. Ah, it's all set up. Oh, cinnabar. I am actually starving at the moment. Don't worry. I'll be sorting myself out soon. Right, Cinnabar can come out. There it is. And the iron can go in. Fantastic. Right, let's go put the rest of the stuff into there. We got everything? Now, did we get everything out of the bag? No. Of course we didn't. Break it with an empty hand. Right, all of the stuff that does belong in there. Got some more diamond and redstone and stuff like that. Still can't find any yellorium. Absolutely no yellorium whatsoever. And I dug for quite a long a long time, guys. I dug for miles, it seems. Um, let's get some applesauce. Nice easy snack there. What else have we got? Caramel. Another nice light snack. Have I got any black proper meals cracking on in here? Hearty snack. Oh, look at that. Hearty light meal. Some carrot cake. Gotta love a bit of carrot cake, guys. Oh. And just a one to fill us up. There we go. I think that'll do for the moment. Um... Still need to sort out where all of this stuff goes. Oh, my things don't go in there. There they are. They've moved now. Lapis, redstone, diamond. Oh, we've got a nice slime tree out there. It, the, 
the problem is with me at the moment is I seem to be missing these guys that like they come online and I'm not online and so on and so forth. So I can never find out exactly what they want to do and where they want to do it and so on and so forth. So we've got lapis over here. No, we've got no lapis over there whatsoever. Uh, salt, any salt over here? It's harvest, Pam's harvest crop. We've got tons of salt, absolute tons of it. I think we might have to go and put that into the uh, into the fridge over here. <clears throat> Let's go slap that in the fridge. That iron there was to repair my uh, my thing when it needed it, but unfortunately I never needed it, so that was okay. Um, Deersite cobble. We've got a bit of lead actually, just like hanging out in my inventory. Could you kindly please go into here? Thank you. Got some charged surface quartz, some lapis which I could really use for fortune, actually, on maybe my pickaxe or something. So I'll slap that in there along with the charged surface quartz and the nether quartz as it goes in there as well. So, unfortunately, no yellorium. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> that really is annoying, actually, because they need that. Uh, I got told. Let me see if they, they, they're actually working towards something. Um, in fact, if they're watching this video... Okay, see if you can, there was, there was a book here, and it says the plan, and I thought, oh nice, there's a book here that lets me know what I can do, if I can do anything for these guys, um, apart from just, you know, the mining, if there's anything I can actually be working on, but um, unfortunately they need Eulorium, and I can't find any Eulorium anywhere, and I did go mining for a very, very long time, so I'm going to have to abandon the search for Eulorium at this current moment in time, and look at this, this is crazy. Is that Sano? Or is that uh, Fames? Not quite sure which one it is. Look at this. Madness. <laughs> Sweet. And we've got some seeds going on here. And that seems to be doing okay. Oh, they've got the filing cabinets for all the books now and fishing rods and bows power 4 unbreaking 3 bow that is crazy power uh, unbreaking 3 power 3 punch 1 imagine if you had that and also power 4 on it instead of power 3 power 4 unbreaking 3 punch 1 that would be that would be awesome <laughs> that really would but anyways um let's go and see what we can do in terms um in terms of this i don't think i can do much do some of this. Ah, ME networks. Claim that. Hunt for Skystone. Well, of course, Skystone, um, it, there, it is around the place. There is a few meteors around the place, and I don't know if these guys have managed to get any yet. But um, I haven't seen any ME network going on, so I would presume that they haven't come across any Skystone just yet. Oh, they've got 16 Skystone. Oh, they've got all the inscribers. Oh, that was a reward. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't do that because there's not enough sky stone left for me to finish that. And I can't, I, I don't know where there's any sky stone uh, kicking around. Um, so it looks like I can't really do that one either. Crafting guns, a stone gun. Hmm. Rubber science. Raw rubber. Oh, you can, yeah, just craft eight bitumen together in your crafting table. Okay, we can do that. Eight bitumen in the crafting table. It works like that as well. Whee, the discovery of rubber and rubber and plastics. I've unlocked more in my uh, in my book. So we've done that. A trusty wrench. So let's get a crescent hammer. And let's get that uh, one done. Three iron, one tin. The tin is dodgy though. Three iron, one tin. Running low on tin actually. Don't want to be using too much of that. There we are. Nice crescent hammer. That'll get me mission outlook up. Temperate fluiducts. Temperate fluiducts. This just this normal one. Copper and lead. Lead's another one that you you don't really use very much. Look at that. Copper. Copper is another one that's pretty rare. Don't want to be using too much of these. Just enough 
to be able to do the uh, the quests though. Mission now look plus two, so we get portable tanks now. Um, how would one make a portable tank? Is it a crafting recipe or is it a detection? Ah, it's a detection task. Good, because there's one just up here. So let me grab this. Whoops. There we are. Claim the reward on that one. Uh, slap that onto output because I believe that's what it was on. So we've done that one. Invar. So one Invar ingot is what we need. Is there one kicking around? I'm pretty sure I saw one. There it is. Hey, nice. So now we can get bigger tanks, Invar armor. I really don't want to use all the Invar just on friggin' armor, that's for sure. Hardened glass. Just hardened glass. There's one pulverized lead for... I'm wondering if they've got one of these kicking around in one of these chests, you know. They seem like resourceful bunch of people. They surely have got one kicking around. There we go, look at that, brilliant. Don't worry, I'll put it back. I don't know what they're doing with this. Uh, they're doing something. Either this is either that, or these are rewards for quests that they've done. Let me put that with them. Uh, it seems as if it might be, you know. Let's put the invar back. Oops, not that one. Okay. Enderium, the final tier. Enderium blend. Enderium blend. Three tin, one pulverized shiny metal or platinum, and resonant ender bucket will make some Enderium blend. However, do I want to use the materials that we've got to make Enderium? And I'm not sure if we. Is that Ender? Oh, that's resonant ender, guys. Maybe I do. Let me go and grab a little bit of this and some tin. Pulverized tin. It was three, wasn't it? And a pulverized shiny. Let's put that into there. And we can go ahead and make some resonant ender and get through those. <clears throat> But yes, mining is a thing, and I certainly do want to try to sit down and get as much mining as I done uh, I can do one time, so that I can get these guys some of the stuff that they need. Um, Yellorium seems to be that thing at the moment. Really, pulverized tin. Oh, silver. There's one silver in there as well. Why did I take that out? Silver. Now we do have some of that. I've seen it kicking around. Silver, there it is. Not a great deal, but I did find a little bit more whilst I was out. Right, let's get that back up into a tin ingot. And that down to a silver. Okay, let's go ahead and make this resonant ender. Well, Enderian blend, which we've now got. Nice. Good stuff. So the next thing, heating things up, pyrothium dust. Pyrothium dust. So it's blaze powder, sulfur, pulverized coal, and redstone. That's pretty easy, that one, actually. That is pretty easy to do. So that, we need coal for pulverizing. Um, sulfur, I've seen some in here. And blaze powder. I've only got the one. They've only got a few, so they've not been able to do much with that. What have I got to do? Pulverize my coal. That was what I came over here for. And then we can craft the pyrothium. Redstone, blaze, sulfur, pulverized coal, and there's pyrothium dust. Awesome. So we can claim that. Mission outlook goes up. Enderium ingots. Okay. Enderium ingot. It's surely got something to do with... Yes, it has. One pyrothium, two enderium blenders, two enderium ingots. So this, with that, should make me uh, the enderium ingots we need. Put them into this. Don't want to use too much of the power, though, if I can. 
because they are low on power, so they say. Where do they get their power from at the moment? In, at this moment in time, is it really from big reactors? Is that where they're getting all their power? The energy buffer, I think, is it? Well, there's quite a lot in there. There's no power left though. That's full of power. That's got absolutely tons of power in it. Fantastic. And there you mingots. Nice. Good, good. So, um, to be even to be able to get close to this, we've got to do the bigger tanks. We've got to get hardened portable tank. So hardened portable tank. We need a normal one with four invar. I'll use this one. It seems to make sense because it is only a normal portable tank at the moment, and we've got the invar. Four in there. There we go. It's got that one for me. So what am I missing for this? Are oh, the bags carrying stuff? A satchel. I've already got one of these, but I've got a, a backpack to do this. I don't need a satchel. Three leather, two tin, one wool. That seems a waste of tin. Three leather. And also leather. <clears throat> oh, it's the last three. Two tin, one wool. And that'll make the satchel. Okay. Two tin, three leather, one wool. That is the satchel. So we can claim that one. The hardened satchel. This requires the invar, didn't it? Why did I just do that? So two invar and then tin nuggets. Two invar. Ah, nice. We've got some tin nuggets already there, so I don't need to uh, use all the tin. Get that satchel. That might actually help me out massively. So we've got another storage as well there, guys. As well as the backpack that we've got on our back, we've also got the satchel there so we can pile stuff in whilst I'm, at, whilst I'm out uh, mining and stuff. So more storage. The reinforced portable tank and reinforced satchel. What is this reinforced stuff all around? Hardened glass and invan nuggets. Well, I did see some hardened glass kicking around in here. I do hope that they don't need this. They probably do. Um, reinforced... Tank. No? Tank. What is it called? Reinforced portable tank. So it's yeah, it's just hardened glass. Not too difficult. Nope, that's the wrong one. The tank. Alright, so we've got that one. Now we need invar um little nuggets. I think it was three, wasn't it? So hardened glass to the satchel and three invar gets the reinforced satchel and this is big this is much bigger nice so we've got that one done now is the Enderium revolution so we need the resonance uh, resonant satchel resonant portable tank and resident uh, resonant energy cell it looks like a full one as well actually the resonant portable tank needs Enderium ingots of which I have though that seems like a waste. Resonant. The resonant energy cell. It's for Enderium. No, it's not. Well, it is actually. So to do to even get near that, we'd need to make the other ones first. Make the uh, redstone energy cell to be able to do that, and then get that to get the resonant energy cell. Um, what did I type in? Resonant portable tank. The satchel then. Electrum nuggets. Do we have any electrum nuggets? It's probably the most... Ah, we do. It's probably the most useful for me, actually, currently, is the... Uh, if we did it this way. Because then we can get a big satchel. Like that. And we've got that space and that space also for when I'm out mining. So that'd be great. 
got the resonance uh, resonance satchel just need to get the resonant portable tank and uh, the resonant energy cell but that's going to take a little bit of work to be able to do that and uh, i really want to try to get more materials for you know there's a, it's all right it's all well and good me going ahead and doing a lot of um doing a lot of crafting with everything all of the materials here but i do like to put something back that i've ta uh, that i've taken over the time so um, magma crucible fluid transposer everything's there that we can go ahead and use we've got some uh, Rich slag and some cinnabar there. Okay, well, that is going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. Um, Belgabor, Finvara, Gur, if you're watching this, please go ahead and, uh, you know, leave me, um, like a little book or something in one of these bookshelves so that I know what kind of plans that you're on at the moment, because so, I'm not quite sure what you're working towards and what I can help you with, apart from mining. Um, so please do let me know, that would be great. And I will see you guys next episode. All is going well. Um, we pushed it back all this way. And you can see they've pushed it back quite far, actually, all the way out here. So it's not going to be long before these two do join up, you know. And uh, it's going to be great to see. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and leave a like. And I will see you next time. Until then, up in the top, and as always, stay safe.